everybody welcome back to another video uh, today it's not LSPDFR but it's somewhat LSPDFR but we're actually installing it so I figured since I had to do a fresh wipe I uh, broke some things in my game I figured I might as well do a fresh install for you guys show you guys how to do it how to get uh, natural vision evolve the graphics mod uh, with LSPDFR along with ELS the cars and a couple I don't have a lot of um, like scripts and certain call-out packs. I just have kind of the basic stuff. Uh, I will add stuff like off the video, but for just tutorial purposes, this is basically the basics of what you need. Everything that I have here will be linked below in the description, so make sure you guys go and check that out if you guys need to know what certain things I use. But uh, let's just get started. So if you're using Steam, uh, the easiest way to locate your file is if you just go to Steam like I am right here, click uh, your GTA game, just right click it, manage, browse local files, and then you're up and ready to go with everything you need. So the first thing you're going to want to do, obviously, is uh, find your LSPD4 that you installed. So I have the, I didn't do the automatic setup, I did the uh, manual setup, which is pretty easy. Everything you need in here, your Rage plugin hook, license, LSPDFR, plugins, and so on. Everything you need, you're just going to basically highlight over everything. Just drag and drop into there. Simple as that, and you're actually done with that. So, if you were to load up just LSPDFR right now, uh, basically you would have it, but it would be pretty bare. You wouldn't have all the extra add-on mods that make LSPDFR LSPDFR. So, I did get a couple of the basic ones. So, for the instance, we'll just do this forestry callouts. Uh, again, everything I have here is in the description through links. So, if you open this, there usually is a readme on here, and it just tells you how to install everything. Um, you can just ignore that. You don't need to drag that. Um, plugins, interface and this rage native all of this stuff you basically need so you're just going to pile it over that again just drag and drop it'll put everything in there for you uh plugins lspd far you can see right there you got forestry callouts there is a configuration file for every single one of these so it'll tell you if you let's say you don't know a certain key for something it'll tell you the different keys and you can also change them to your liking which comes in handy when <laughs> cutting that part out which comes in handy when you uh, have different scripts conflicting with each other and uh, just being being able to organize your key bindings that way is pretty cool so we'll exit out of all of that we're not going to change anything uh, we can go ahead and just back out uh, the second thing obviously we have better presence basically it's like ambient, ambient events things like that same thing uh Plugins, just drag and drop. You also need this Newton file. Alrighty, done with that one. Very simple. Risk your traffic stops. A lot of these scripts you're going to find are basically everything that... Oops, everything that uh, is just drag and drop. Everything's already placed in the correct folders. So we'll close out of that. And then we'll do... We'll have our first... Uh, pack here. Oh, don't forget Winwar is not free by the way, guys. I love when it pops up with that. Uh plugins for the callouts very simple as well. Just highlight over th everything here into your main directory. Boom, done. Uh this little gun script that I have uh it's for it's for like radar pretty cool radar system just drag and drop that into there ultimate backup same thing now these are kind of your necessities you kind of need like ultimate backup and stop the pet for things to work properly again we're just gonna just you can just um, hit yes to everything stop the pet uh, we're just going to highlight over plugins here because I already have the latest Rage in there. I don't want to take the latest Rage off and have my game crash because of we don't have the latest Rage. So since I already have that in there from just downloading some of the newer mods, 
that have the latest Rage plugin uh, script in there, then I'm should be okay. Same with this. We're just gonna put plugins. Easy as simple as that. Okay, EUP menu. This is for like your comp outfit stuff. Very simple. You'll go to files. Again, you'll just plugins. In you go. Uh, we should be good there for that. Uh, ELS, same thing. Installation mm -hmm. files. This is for your lighting on your cop cars. Same thing. We'll just drag everything into here. Cool. Now, once you have all that stuff done, uh, for your natural vision evolved, you're going to need open IV, obviously Windows. So it'll ask you, it'll, it should ask you for your directory and you should be able to locate that. Make sure you turn on edit mode and install all of these little loaders. Create a mods folder, we'll do that later. So for that mods folder, uh, you're just going to go back to your directory. Here, I'll zoom in here. You just hit new folder mods. Basically, you're going to take the update in 64 and you're just going to hit control C copy that and then your mods folder you're just going to hit control v and let it go it's going to be a little slow uh, so i'll cut out this video but it really depends on how fast your disk is writing so yeah i'll just cut this part of the video out and we'll continue on the other side okay and we're back it just finished so as you see we've got an update in a 64 folder in our uh, mods folder we can just back out of that now that comes in handy because if you open open IV again, you'll see a, this mods folder. Anything that you install that has an OIV package uh, or cars or what whatnot, you don't want to install it into your main directory because if you install it into your main directory, it'll be harder to remove from the game without corrupting your game. So if you install it to the mods folder and let's say you can't remove a certain OIV or a certain car that you installed, you can literally just delete your mods folder and then you can just do the process I just did and without breaking your game because your main game is still running off of your update in 64. Your mods folder just has an ASI script in there that executes anything that's also in the mods folder. So that's why uh, you really just don't want to put anything, any cars or anything in your main 64 or your main update directories because uh, you don't want to break your game that way. Because a lot of some of these scripts and cars will break your games if you don't install them correctly. Alright, so we're going to go back and I'm just going to reopen, not that, uh, ASI Manager. I'm just going to uninstall these real quick. Because you sh really should install them into your mods folder prior. Alright, so now we have Natural Vision Evolved. Of course, you can find it off the website. Everything you need in here, you have your optional add-ons, your reshaders, and whatnot. The two things you're going to need right now are they going to be the installer part one and part two. You can just drag those over to your desktop like so. Just let it load. It's going to take a minute uh, when it loads um, because it's a pretty big like file that you're transferring over from the file to the desktop so just be patient uh, sometimes my PC freezes when it does it uh, yours might not I have a poor solid state drive so that's probably why okay so once it's there I'm just gonna go ahead and close all these windows real quick all right three two one Alrighty, so once it's onto your desktop, like it is here, you'll have part one, part two. You want to open up o OIV uh, package installer on OpenIV. A little bit of a tongue twister there. Uh, so open package installer, it's got the, like the blue dot, red dot, and then a green bar. Very simple. So you've got everything you need here. Part one, you want to make sure you do number one first. So you'll just do it into your mods folder, not your game directory. Should take about roughly a minute max. <coughs> Part two usually takes a little bit longer to install uh, just because it's slightly bigger. As you can see, it actually did add something to the bottom of my 
directory. Alrighty, and then we'll get part two in here, same process. Install. There is uh, optional add-ons that I will show you as well in here for those. But we're not finished yet once part two is complete because there is some stuff you still have to add to your main directory. Just let it load, just give it a minute. But like I said, part two takes a little bit longer than part one. So once it's done, part two is installed, perfect. You can just close out of that. Now just minimize OpenIV. We're gonna go back into our natural vision evolves uh, WinRAR or 7-zip, whatever you have. We're gonna go to the reshaders tab and we're gonna open up our directory again. So we'll have them side by side here, very simple. And we'll just kind of find an empty spot where there's no folders, so kind of like down here. And we'll just drag all these reshade stuff into the directory. Easy as that. And there are some app, uh, optional, optional add-ons that you can install. Some of them include, like this one is the performance boost if you don't have a good PC or something that can't really run uh, the graphics mod that well. Uh, brighter emergency lights, I always get brighter emergency lights. I want to make sure they're super bright so I can see them, especially during the daytime. Uh, I use the Parallax Roads. So everything that you want to use, everything that you want to use uh, for the optional add-ons, you'll just kind of bring them over to your desktop and I'll show you how to install those. Very simple. I'm just going to go ahead and speed run this part and I'll catch you on the other side. Alrighty, so I'm back. Some of the ones that I uh, prefer and uh, would recommend are the brighter lights, volumetric clouds, parallax roads, the autumn season pack, um, the NVE 2020 weather filter pack, uh, and then these two right here are you're gonna need. They're the LSPD far compatibility patch, uh, just in case you run into issues, and then obviously your game fig config if you add a bunch of vehicles. So the way we do that is we go back to our OpenIV, very simple, go back to the package installer, and you're just going to install them one by one. I'm going to do the longest one first, knock that out of the way. And uh, basically every one that you do, every one that you drag to your desktop, you're just going to do the same process for each one. The Parallax, uh, Parallax Roads d does take a little bit longer than the other ones. Again, because it's basically overhauls the entire road textures. So that's a lot of gigabytes of stuff that it has to write over. And it says, uh, side note, it does say this package cannot be uninstalled automatically, which is true. There is not an un there is a overall uninstaller for NVE. Uh, but again, this is why I say make sure you throw this into your mods folder because if this was in your game regular folder, uh, it would be way harder to remove this. But since it's in your mods folder, if you don't have an uninstaller for Natural Vision Evolved, you could just completely delete the mods folder and then re-add the mods folder again and it would be gone. So I'm going to go ahead and skip through all this because it's going to take a minute. And I will uh, see you when it's... Alrighty, so once all that is done, uh, you can just minimize out of that. Uh, I just delete these off of my desktop. Don't need them there. Uh, make sure you do have that script hook installed. I forgot to add that earlier on, so I will leave a link as well for that in the description. You're just basically going to install it. You're going to open up your directory. Script hook is needed to run basically every single plugin. So that's why sometimes your mods, your mods might not work when GTA is updated, a major update, because script hook has to be updated for the regular one. So you'll have D input eight. You'll need that, and you'll need script hook five. Native trainer. ASI is just a trainer, like a mod trainer. You don't really need that if you have your own trainer, or you can use it if you'd like to. But for me, I have my own trainer. So I will just drop everything into there. Simple as that. And we'll close out of that. Now to install the um, EUP, the EUP OIV, which is uh, what I downloaded for the custom 
uh, clothing with the EUP menu that we installed earlier. Uh, we'll leave a link as well for that, so don't worry. Uh, you'll have an OIV, and you'll basically just drag it to your desktop from your downloads folder. And you open open IV, same process, very simple. Package installer, EUP OIV. You're just going to put it into your mods folder, confirm installation, and let it run. Need for the basic setup. Now for cars, I do have a car pack that I am going to show you how to install. Uh, very simple. We'll just go ahead and get the car pack. Alrighty, so the car pack is up on the screen here. We'll just open it up. And you could pick, you could do all three, but we're just going to do the 2014. We'll do the 2014 Tahoe. And we'll do the Freedom livery. Basically, you have a couple different options. You have the slick top, uh, Liberty with the automatic license plate readers, or just the 2014 Liberty pack. We'll do the Tahoe Freedom one. Uh, your XML here is going to be your ELS, so we'll show you how to install that. We'll just drag that up over there. And then your YTF, YTD, and YFT, that's going to go through OpenIV. So it's a little tricky to navigate through this, so you might want to pause the video every time. But I'll go a little bit slow. We go to Mods, Update, 64, DLC Packs. And I like to find patch day 22. You can use some of the newer ones, but 22 has always worked for me. DLC RPF, 64, levels, GTA 5, and then vehicle RPF. So here, you'll just take the, the YTDs and the y, YFTs and just simply drag and drop. Simple as that. Then you'll go back to your... GTA 5 directory and you go over to the ELS tab here you go to pack default and you'll just delete the police one that's already in here and you'll just drop that one into there um, you can go ahead and just drag it into here too if you'd wish to uh, I forget if it's in this one or the unused one so yeah so all that is done you're good you've got a car installed um, again, some of the cars may differ. This was just a, was a replace. So you're basically, you're replacing the police one slot. Some of them are add-ons and they're a little bit weird and you got to go through a DLC RPF. But for this specific pack, which I will leave a link below in the description, it's a basic just drag and drop. You're re replacing the old file and adding the ELS file to your directory. So now we should be ready to load up here. So I'll go ahead and hit play. Now at this is a little bit tricky. I've always, a lot of people crash on this step, but I've always found a easier way to avoid a crash. So I, I'll hit play through Steam, Grand Theft Auto, and then we'll have our directory open at the same time with Grand Theft Auto. And as soon as the screen kind of pops up here with the game loading, I like to load up the Rage plugin hook at the same time. So you'll see here in a minute. So since that's loaded up, We'll load a rage plug and hook. This will be your first time when you do it. You'll just hit accept, finalize, uh, make sure you just don't load any of these plugins on startup, save and launch. So it's going to load and it's going to hook the game. Beautiful, just like that. We'll let it do a first time load. It should save my character from last time, but if not, it'll have me walk through a character setup screen uh, for players that are new and haven't created a save. But I think I have a local save on my computer, so it should be able to recognize that it's the same computer, just a fresh install. But we'll see. Alrighty, so once you get in, you'll see that Franklin is loaded. Uh, you'll just hit F4 on your keyboard, and you'll just do load plugin, and then obviously, you'll just type, sorry, load plugin, and you can hit tab once it pops up, and then LSPD far. So we'll load that in. Make sure everything is working there. Uh, if you have a character previously, uh, sometimes it'll automatically get that character for our sake. Uh, it didn't here, 
So we'll have to... Let's just see something. Let's see if I hit Force Duty. See what that does. So yeah, it'll say go on to an agency. So we'll just go ahead and... Oh yeah, let me go ahead and test that vehicle, actually. So we'll do Police Cruiser. As you can see, that vehicle that we installed in the game, very simple. That's an okay looking vehicle. Obviously, it was for tutorial purposes. But there is better looking vehicles out there. So here, let's go go to a police station once you spawn in. We'll just kind of make our way over there. Alrighty, so once you get over to here, again, you'll just hit E, get into the station. And uh, this does tend to be a little bit glitchy, so if LSPD4 crashes, it's fine. Should be able to hit go on duty, and it's going to ask you to create a character. You'll just say yes. I'm just going to speed run through this process. This is attempt number two, actually. But you guys won't see the first attempt because that one kind of got a little messy. But we'll get this first attempt going. Oh, never mind. I've got our character right there. So we'll just use that one, I guess. Alrighty, so some of the scripts might load. As you can see, all the scripts did load there, and everything's working just fine, so that is good. Uh, we'll just go ahead and go to the police locker, why not, or the police garage, pick out a vehicle. So this is the one that we installed, obviously, and there's a couple different ones. We we'll can go to the... Sheriff's Department. So yeah, the Gauntlet Interceptor. That's new. If you guys were wondering, that that is a new like vehicle that they added um, into the game. Now, the reason why they added into it, uh, because if you look closely in the GTA 6 trailer, they teased uh, Hellcat. Um, uh, I for, man, I forget which. I know it's a Hellcat, but I, I not Charger, but. Uh, the other one, the other name for it. Um, basically, they teased these in the GTA 6 trailers, so they just were like, in their last update, they just went ahead and added this to the game. But, uh, yeah, that's stock, so it looks pretty cool. But, uh, we'll just, we'll just go ahead. <coughs> we'll just go ahead and rock that one, because why not? Just hit select and continue. So, yeah, so everything after that, your main stuff is loaded. It says on duty... Uh, your EUP menu, you can actually load that. Just type in load plugin, EUP menu. Easy, and it should load in a couple seconds. There it is. To open that, you'll just hit F11, and then you've got a bunch of different stuff here. Vintage uniforms. I usually like to rock the Class C uniform. Um, some of the stuff might conflict. So, like, you see here, this is conflicting a little bit. You can actually go to LSP far. Go to the key bindings, and you can remove some of this stuff. So, like, I like to clear the arrest key, clear the stop the stop ped key, uh, backup menu, clear that one. And then there's some other stuff in here that you can clear. But, uh, yeah, everything is working. We have the grammar police, uh, call out packs installed. So like, I can hold this down, let go of that. So I can I can say, dispatch, show me on duty. Roger. Well, it says on scene, but let's try this. One Lincoln 18, show me available. There you go. So yeah, it'll show that you're on duty and stuff like that. Obviously, the graphics mod is working as well. Uh, you can go to the weather and you can check out the light package on these, so or the time. Let's go ahead one hour. 
and uh, let's actually, this doesn't this vehicle doesn't have ELS, so in, uh, we'll just go to the one that we installed. We'll do this one. And you can see the ELS working well on this. So yeah, if you guys have questions, uh, let me know, and I will make a Discord so to help uh, Discord so I can help you guys. Now I am going to be doing a service. Uh, if you guys just having a hard time and can't get the thing to work, I am offering to install LSPDFR for you for $15. Uh, you can just contact me on Discord. Uh, basically, we'll just use Team Viewer and I'll just do everything that I did in this video uh, and install other scripts and cars for you that you'd like. So yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.